Over the last two years, the United States National Security Strategy reports have advocated for a measured deployment of the American military in the Middle East, with a heightened focus on out-competing China and constraining Russia. This strategic shift has prompted a re-evaluation of the core design and manufacturing of military platforms. After more than two decades of combat in the Middle East, where unconventional threats like improvised explosive devices took precedence, the military is adapting to a new reality. The emphasis is now back on large-scale conventional warfare with near-peer adversaries. In response to this strategic shift, the U.S. Army is actively advancing its capabilities. In 2023, they introduced 24 new systems as part of their ongoing modernization efforts, many of which we've reviewed on this channel. This year is set to be just as busy. So, in today's video, let's explore the top three ground combat systems to watch out for in 2024. The first platform in focus is the XM-30 Mechanized Infantry Fighting Vehicle, currently in development as part of the broader Next Generation Combat Vehicle Program. The Next Generation Combat Vehicle Program, or NGCV, is the U.S. Army's flagship program aimed at acquiring a range of armored vehicles to introduce new capabilities for the Army in the upcoming decade. In fact, all three vehicles that we're looking at today are part of the NGCV. The XM-30 is slated to replace the M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle, a mainstay in military service for over 40 years. The M2 Bradley has proven its utility in the conflict in Ukraine, underscoring the critical role of infantry fighting vehicles in modern warfare. If you want to learn more about the M2 Bradley, check out our video. Link can be found in the description below. The new XM-30 is designed to bring transformative capabilities to the battlefield, focusing on improvements in lethality, soldier vehicle survivability, and upgradability beyond the limits of the Bradley. In terms of weaponry, the XM-30 is expected to feature a main gun, a light machine gun, and anti-tank missiles. Prototypes may include a 50mm main gun on a remote turret and anti-tank missiles with specifications calling for a two-person crew and accommodation for six fully equipped infantrymen. As seen with other new weapon systems, the XM-30 will feature a modular design that allows the Army to incorporate new technology as it becomes available. The American Rain Metal Vehicles and General Dynamics Land Systems, chosen as finalists from five contenders, have been awarded a $1.6 billion contract to deliver their prototypes by the end of 2024. The Army aims for operational capability before the decade concludes, emphasizing its commitment to staying at the forefront of military technology. Next on our list is the M10 Booker, a product of the Mobile Protected Firepower sub-project within the NGCV. The MPF aimed at designing a combat vehicle capable of delivering mobile, protected, direct-fire offensive capabilities. As an infantry support armored vehicle, the M10 Booker is armed with numerous guns such as a 105mm M35 main gun, an M2 Browning 12.7mm heavy machine gun, and a 7.62mm light machine gun. It also features specialized sensors for urban combat scenarios. This armored vehicle's robust armament allows it to engage light enemy armored vehicles and pose a threat to tanks in vulnerable spots. Weighing approximately 40 tons, the M10 Booker can reach a maximum speed of 70 kilometers per hour and cover up to 560 kilometers without refueling. Maintaining a four-man crew, the Army has retained this configuration for its latest armored vehicle. The M10 Booker boasts a modular design capable of integrating emerging technologies as they evolve. Acknowledging the critical importance of speed in warfare, the Army learns from past experiences in the Middle East and the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. This underscores the significance of speed in large-scale offensive operations, with the M10 Booker strategically positioning the Army to maintain agility on future battlefields. Under a contract with General Dynamics Land Systems, 
the Army is set to receive 26 combat vehicles, with the option to procure an additional 70 during the initial production phase. Last, but certainly not least, let's take a look at the unmanned platform of the NGCV. The Robotic Combat Vehicle, or RCV, is strategically positioned to provide essential fire support and reconnaissance capabilities. The Army envisions three distinct versions of the RCV, spanning light, medium, and heavy configurations. The main aim of the RCV is to enhance situational awareness, lethality, and tactical options for Army formations engaged in multi-domain operations. Capable of remote control or semi-autonomous operation, these UGVs will serve as scouts or escorts for manned fighting vehicles. The typical formation includes one crewed control vehicle and two robotic wingmen, each equipped with a range of different payloads. Currently in the development phase, the Army awarded contracts to MCQ, General Dynamics Land Systems, Oshkosh Defense, and Textron Systems in September 2023 to design four distinct prototypes by August 2024. The Army's objective is to achieve operational capability before the end of the decade. So, what do you think of these futuristic military vehicles? Which one caught your attention the most? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content.